first things first, I wanted to talk about what Katie and I did on Monday. On Monday, Katie and I went to the Walt Disney Studios. It was the coolest thing ever. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Katie. My dreams came true. You can't get tours of the Walt Disney Studios the way that you can get a tour of, say, the Warner Brothers Studios or Universal Studio Tours that you can get at Universal Studios. You can't do that. You have to know somebody at Disney. Well, Katie knows her own cousin. <laughs> Uh, who also knows a guy in the animation department who was able to show us a really cool clip from a movie that's actually coming out soon. Um, and he used a certain clip of the film to show us how his program works and how he does the animation and how he goes from storyboard and gets to the finished product all on this kind of editing software. And it was really, really fascinating and I enjoyed it immensely. It is so cool walking around the lot. It was really cool seeing how everything is organized and set up and and everything in between the sound stages and kind of seeing kind of edges of sound stages as we walked by and the doors are open and and most of all everything was very Disney-fied with pictures and the architecture was also very very Disney. Exactly what you'd expect to see at a park. And the most important and obvious of all there is a Disney store on the studio lot. The whole time we were thinking, oh, why don't we have a camera? And we never took pictures and never got footage. I actually had a camera with me the whole time. But in my mind, I thought, oh, no, I'm sure I won't be allowed to take any pictures. And so I just kind of forgot that I had a camera and didn't do anything about it and like didn't even pay attention to it and just like completely dismissed the possibility, which I think is probably a wise choice overall. Um, but it does mean that we have no footage. So since you've probably been able to guess from the background, since I'm not in the same place that I usually am, I am no longer in California. I'm in Boston. I arrived today. Last night I had a, um, a red eye, uh, and I flew into Newark. I left LAX at 10.04 p.m. and arrived in Newark at about 6 o'clock their time, and then got on another flight to Boston. And I have been up since then. I have not slept a wink. One thing that I was going to talk about was my summer obsessions, because every single summer I end up being completely and utterly obsessed with something. I had like a whole list of like everything that I was obsessed with every single summer for as long as I can really remember. I didn't finish the list, like I couldn't remember a lot of those things, but I had the list and I didn't pack it. I'm sorry, so I'll tell you what I can from memory. Summer before fifth grade, I was completely obsessed with Michelle Branch, The Spirit Room album. Summer before sixth grade, completely obsessed with Pirates of the Caribbean and Johnny Depp. Summer before seventh grade, obsessed with Fall Out Boy and Evanescence. Summer before 8th grade, and these two kind of go together actually, summer before 8th grade I was obsessed with all Harry Potter fan fictions that I could find on Quizilla. Uh, summer before ninth grade, probably when I got into Gilmore Girls most heavily. Can you hear Storo Drive? It's really loud. To be honest, I don't remember all the ones before 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. I know that before freshman year of college is probably when I was most obsessed with How I Met Your Mother, which made me actually catch up with every single, the whole entire show basically, and watch every single episode of every single season during the first semester of my freshman year. Uh, before sophomore year, um, maybe YouTube. I don't know. Actually getting into YouTube kind of the way that I'm into it now as more than just a casual viewer, more of an involved viewer, um, and other than that I don't really know what last summer was, but I know that this summer, this summer it was Avatar The Last Airbender. Obsessions are something that I've thought about like this because during the school year you tend to obsess over things or watch a certain video or just do something in particular, maybe visit a certain site just to get your mind off of something or to distract yourself from your work. In the summer, however, theoretically, we don't have as many responsibilities. We can enjoy ourselves and we tend to have a more sincere approach to our obsessions and they're actually genuine obsessions that consume our thoughts. Emily, I will see you tomorrow.